What we're going to do right here is go back. Way back. Back into time. It's now time for you to hear what I have to say. As we reflect on the most important era from back in the day. This was Brooklyn basketball with a mecca and we reigned. The fraternity's starting to come back together. There's time and timing. And this is the time. Through all the adversity and the pain. But then when you look at being bust into communities of hate, Every day, Once running you got for your past life. Flatland, oh, yeah. You had to be worried about, like, right, you just right, gonna roll a bunch of cars and baseball bats. My brother got beat up in Canarsie. Right. Right. We got chased on for practice at least, three, right. at least three days a week. I just couldn't wait to get back home and put that ball in my hand. Take that ball, because I knew with that I was the man. We go hard. I knew that that ball produced over 30 NBA players the highest level, I know that that ball allowed me to fight and go hard and never settle. Lester Roberts was the godfather of basketball in Brooklyn. You see, back in the day, there were mentors and coaches who knew everything about the Brooklyn community. They knew exactly what we needed and they fulfilled their godly duty. See, that ball became my life. And that ball is the reason why I fight and I have this incredible strength. That ball saved me. As a coach, you teach the first rule of basketball is always steal the ball. I give them Brooklyn by giving them ball side middle, which is a drill I ran when I was at Brooklyn USA. Ball side middle is the foundation of our fast break. When I say ball side middle, they're gonna run hard, they're gonna make layups, they miss layups. Push-ups. Push-ups. But that ball is all we have in our community. That ball is deep down in our soul. That ball is a gift from God. And now this story must be told. Ball side middle, a Brooklyn basketball story.